hey guys this is Saad again with a new video in this video I'm going to show you how can you create an online profile of a business so this is the design that uh, I have uh, I have to complete or this convert this design into an online profile doing this uh, I'm going to show you a platform which uh, which can do this very effectively with a drag and drop tool you can use this tool or a service uh, you can create an online profile of any business and sell this as a service on Fiverr or Upwork or anywhere you want. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, go to Rapido Connect. It's called RapidoConnect.com. Basically, these people are selling digital cards linked with a profile. So we do not need a card right now. So we can create a profile. Just uh, go to login or create an account. I'm going to log in here. Once you logged in, uh, you will see uh, here, this will be a dashboard. Just hit on create a new project and name your project. Let me do it. It's called Health 2077 and it's called Health 2077. This will be our URL that uh, I'm going to give it to this business where he can view his profile. After that, I'm going to hit a create button. It will create a project and this is the project I'm the I'm going to click on it and this is a tool a drag and drop tool where uh, I can create this design so let's get started so first of all uh, I need a title and uh, business name and designation should be here uh, a profile logo will be here here will be some description uh, this is the profile box and a LinkedIn link to the business and a footer so let's get started with the title i already have a content right here so first of all we need a heading okay uh, let me copy the heading i think this is the heading yeah i'm just going to click on it just click on setting heading and paste it here i can also change the font size so let's go with 24 or maybe like uh, 42 I think this is this looks good okay the next thing in our design is the name and the profile box you can use uh, the basic profile template here just drag and just drop it here and uh, we have to edit this but before that I need a logo from their website uh, maybe yeah I can just right click on it inspect and visit this URL and I can download this save images save it okay I'm going to click this uh, select an image that we just recently download did I also need to know the width and height of this image so height is 50 and the width is uh, mm, okay this is the image tag let me write down the width here 120 pixel well it does not look good I need to increase this a bit Maybe 160, 70, 80, 90, 190, 210, that's so big, okay, 210 pixel. Well, for those who do not know how I am go uh, how I am changing this width, uh, actually you can inspect any website and play around uh, with the elements on the website. Just right click and go to inspect tool and from here you can you can select any element by clicking this and then select like I have selected the image and I can increase or decrease the width so 210 pixel is the best one coming back to this design I need 210 our width and height should be 50 okay okay well it doesn't look very good maybe we need this logo this plus logo like like the one displayed here so how do we get this it's very simple uh, this basically called fav icon 
so just right click and view page source it will be in the header section of of the HTML tag so this is the icon and I'm going to hover over it or maybe click on it uh, or maybe not or maybe I have to inspect this website once again and then go to the header section so this is the link uh, I need to visit it's uh, slash images slash fav icon dot web p well I didn't get the image from here maybe or maybe I can do a little quick google search I'll start this well I can extract it from their uh, LinkedIn page as well so this is the image I need I'm going to right click and save images then save it back to the drag and drop tool go to image upload a new file and upload this one so I'm going to just uh, 60 by 60 it should be perfect or maybe 100 I can uh, when I enable this uh, click on this lock button basically it will uh, align my width with height so I just need only change uh, the width it will also change the height as well this one looks good after that I need to change the name and let's call it the health 2077 and what else do we have here where is the content okay so we are done with this uh, this is the description or maybe you can add this below here Mm, that's the designation yeah looks good and I do not need this locality uh, just I'm going to click on it and then hide this field here okay it's hiding the wait a minute what's happening around here I think it's hiding the image that's the text uh, description locality designation okay so after hiding this and then we need to change change the description of our profile just click on it go to setting and description not the locality but the description copy and paste it here we also need to hide these two buttons just go to social and just remove these links from here make them empty you will hide the icon uh, we need to copy the LinkedIn URL of a company and paste it here with the actual one and the last one according to the design we got the title the name and the designation this is the profile section we also got the image the LinkedIn icon and the footer so I'm just going to copy the footer of this website whatever text we have here like this one and uh, I'm going to add a paragraph so just going to edit this like this perfect uh, after creating the whole profile what you can do is you can make sure that the design looks very good on a tablet and on the uh, smaller devices <coughs> So after that you are satisfied just uh, click on the publish button and remember this uh, uh, when you click on the preview button this will be the URL that uh, you are going to share with your client it's uh, just ignore this everything after the question mark okay the good thing is that you can also monitor uh, the uh, about the anal analytics like when someone wait a minute when someone clicks on this link or whenever visit someone visit this profile uh, you will have this analytic tool where you can basically see the analytics for your profile see I have three projects here I'm going to click health 2077 right now there is no data available okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this preview and copy this and open it in incognito mode 
okay and I'm going to open this profile and then I'm going to visit it here and refresh my dashboard go to analytics select the project and you'll see uh, as you can see that uh, there is one visit it also uh, specify the visit is from the URL not by scanning the QR code or the NFC card or AR uh, is, is also mentioned the platform or a country or average spend time on the profile you can sell out this service uh, on Fiverr like uh, online business profile or something like that business pro file okay so there are 14,000 searches for this or you can also sell it on Upwork wherever you want so I hope you like the content and moreover um, and you can directly contact this company by going to their main page I think it's here and ask for more uh, designing elements because they are updating like once in a week they add more uh, designing drag and drop elements so you can create more complex profiles so that's it for this video uh, I hope you guys enjoy it I'll see you in the next one